Mickey and Nora, next guest from Rogue One from Narcos, Mexico. And next, the movie Wander Darkly. It opens in theaters and on demand a week from tomorrow. Please welcome Diego Luna. Hi, Diego. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you, Jimmy? I'm good. I'm sorry it's so late. I heard it's it's like the middle of the night where you are now, huh? It's very late. I'm in London. It's late, cold, but I'm happy to be here. You're shooting right now? What are you shooting right now over there? Um, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, a tiny little thing. I mean, a, a, a short film with some friends. <laughs> <laughs> right. For Disney Plus with uh, Lucasfilm uh, yeah. involved. They're, they're my friends, yeah. OK, so. I want to ask this question because uh, we had a, like a little, the nerds descended upon me today. And uh, this is the question. I've actually written it down so I can get it right. Rogue One was a prequel to Star Wars Episode Four. Your series is a prequel to that, but it is not a sequel to Episodes One, Two, and Three, which are more commonly known as the prequels. So your show <laughs> is a prequel to a prequel, but not a sequel to the prequel. <laughs> is that accurate? Yeah. That is I accurate. I think my son, my son wrote that question. <laughs> when you say the nerds, you're referring to my son. Yeah. Uh, it, it, is, it is a weird one. It's basically what a, everything you have to know to understand Rogue One, you know? So the story of the character before, and how, I mean, I can't spoil the ending, I guess. Well, we know what happens ultimately to your character. So you really, you've we, already spoiled the ending. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, and yes. we did successfully, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> which was great. But it's nice to, to you know, to, to go into a story you already know the ending. Then you can you can take care of the, the little nuances and right. the layers. And uh, I think it's fun to to do something that is not just about getting to the end. Right, you know? yeah, no, I'm with In you. In fact, it's about delaying that. Right. You're talking about acting, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Diego, you, uh, I, I remember when you were here with the cast, and you said your son, you are just talking about your son, you were, like, FaceTiming with your son, and um, what happened? Like, somebody walked by in the background, and your son got a... A screen not somebody, grab. not somebody, a stormtrooper. A stormtrooper, uh, yeah. Yeah, and he took a, a, a screenshot of that uh, conversation and then he hung on me. And I, I lived like two or three minutes of panic. <laughs> uh, uh, right. It was, it was horrible, horrendous. <laughs> He's not allowed to go to set anymore. You know, there's a whole lockdown in London, and it's because my son is here. So he's not got to lock everyone, so he can he, he couldn't you, go to set. You have a double agent in your midst there. Will you be? Will you celebrate Christmas in uh, London? No, I'll, I'll I'll go back to Mexico. You will uh, go back to Mexico. Of course. Yes. My have family the kids? Is, my home is. How old are your uh, children? Ten and twelve. So, okay, so I don't know if they're in that, are they in the Santa range? No. No, no. okay, they're out of the Santa range. <laughs> I, I am a terrible dad, I guess, no. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but it's like, I mean, I grew up like that, you know? My father hated Christmas, so. Your father hated Christmas? Well, wow. I mean, he just didn't care, you know? We would <laughs> always end up crashing someone else's Christmas dinner, and it was always him and I, you know, just there, like, hugging people we actually didn't know, and uh, getting leftovers as presents, you know, the VHS of a cheesy film or whatever. What? Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's sad. I was born also on 29th of December, you know? So for me, the whole Christmas is it's just not in the right time of the year, you know? Oh, no, this is terrible. So your dad, it, it almost sounds like one of those um, those primetime specials. I don't know if you, you have seen those, those Rankin-Bass animated things, the, the dad who didn't care about Christmas. But at the end of a special like that, something would happen. <laughs> like at the end of The Grinch, you know, his heart grows um, many sizes. But uh, that never happened to your dad, huh? No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Never, never. I had to live with the... I, I mean, I had to understand that there was another boy that was born, like, kind of like the same week I was, and that was more important than I, <laughs> uh, than I was, even to my father. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah. Uh, wow. My kids, I, I, I played it for my kids many years, and now we have fun, and... 
So do you overcompensate now because your uh, father did not? I see. Oh, that's good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And you've even... They, they're getting everything I didn't get, you know? But the problem is that it's, it's all vintage toys, you know, that I wanted, and they go like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no one wants that anymore. <laughs> Just give me a screen that I can put to. Is there something on your list? Because I feel now like I should send you some presents. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a He-Man uh, doll or a Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Stretch arm! You Come remember? on, that was amazing. Never told you. <laughs> You'll have to. I'm going to get your address, and there's going to be a Stretch Armstrong in the mail. Don't worry, Diego. <laughs> a little elf named Guillermo is going to bring it to you. <laughs> Hi, Hi Guillermo. Guillermo. There you are. There he is. Man. Todo bien. Todo bien. Qué gusto. He said, how are you doing? It's no, in Spanish. Guillermo doesn't speak any Spanish. No, no, está todo bien. No, todo yeah. muy bien. <laughs> he said he's doing very well. I'm, I'm translating for you guys yeah. now. Diego, I wanted to ask you about, you guys did a, a fun thing for charity. You, uh, you recreated the movie The Princess Bride. And um, I mean, I'm not... This we is not made, made, made it better, in fact. <laughs> you made it better. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we fixed, I mean, obviously they did years ago. <laughs> this <laughs> was... We had other tools. You shot this on your phones. Uh, all the actors were in different spots, and then they pieced it together. Who shot, who actually shot this uh, for you? Well, I, I had three directors on set, which was challenging uh, as an actor, you uh -huh. know, because I had three different perspectives, my daughter, my son, and my girlfriend's son. Uh, uh, so they were directing me, and uh, it was quite confusing. Uh, yes. And then uh, Jason Reitman was the director of the whole thing. Uh, and uh, I got to see Jack Black's video before I did mine. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, it took a lot of care in the continuity, you know? Just well, sure it, it came up. Match. It, it's almost perfect. Let's take a look. When the sixth finger man arrived and asked for a very special sword. My father took the job. He slaved for one year. Until he was done. Seamless. Absolutely seamless. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Diego, yeah. your uh, movie is uh, its called Wander Darkly, and I understand that you really can't tell us much of anything about it. Is that true? It's true, it's yeah. true. You shouldn't talk about films. I mean, you know, now people go to see films knowing everything. Uh, this one, I'm not gonna say much. It's okay. Just a, a really, but it's a very smart script, amazingly wrote by Tara Mill and uh, Sienna Miller plays uh, uh, the wife I play, I play Mateo, and it's a beautiful, heartbreaking love story, very complex and, and interesting to watch, I think. Is Spider-Man in it? <laughs> no, that's why it's very interesting. Okay, all right. <laughs> you can't see Spider-Man there. No Spider-Man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's very good to see you. Go get a little bit of sleep and uh, an early Merry I'll Christmas to you. Wander Darkly opens in theaters and on demand a week from tomorrow. Diego Luna, everybody. Thanks, Diego. We'll be back with Paris Jackson. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.